Good day, grade 9 learners! It's another blessing to have a meaningful learning day for us. I am Teacher Jennifer and welcome to Technical Drafting 9. Learners, ready your pen, your activity notebook, and your self-learning modules that you will be using in our discussion today. Looking back to our previous discussion, what have you learned about the lesson? Last time, we tackled about the architectural symbols in floor plan. We will now enumerate the different symbols used in floor plan. We have door symbols, wall symbols, electrical symbols, stair symbols, appliance symbols, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning symbols. Learners, I hope you learned something from our previous lesson. Today, you are about to discover our lesson. But before we start, let us first assess your prior knowledge about it. I have here an activity which is entitled, It Sounds Familiar. Here is the direction. Read and identify the following statement. Read the words below each statement twice. This will serve as your clue in getting the correct answer. I have a sample statement that we are going to identify. This roofing has two asymmetrical sides. Here's the clue. Salt, back, axe, row, off. Salt, back, axe, row, off. Therefore, the answer is salt, back, roof. Now, it's your turn. Identify this statement and follow the directions. This roofing has pitch on two sides, but no pitch on gable ends. Here's the clue. Guy, bull, row, off. Guy, bull, row, off. The answer is gable roof. Very good. Next, this roofing are higher at one end than the other. Here's the clue. Said, row, off. Said, row, off. Can you guess what is the answer? Great! This is a shed roof. Next statement, this roofing is a four-sided gimbal-style hip roof characterized by two slopes on each of its sides with the lower slope. Here is the clue. Mohansar add row off. Mohansar add row off. Can you guess what is the answer? Very good! This is a mansard roof. Next, this roofing is used when eave-line protection is desired around the entire perimeter of the building. Here is the clue. He if raw off. He if raw off. What is the answer? Yes, it is a hip roof. Great! Last statement. It is a roof structure often containing a window that projects vertically beyond the plane of a pitch roof. Here is the clue. Do, where, mir, ro, off. Do, where, mir, ro, off. Can you guess what is the answer? Very good! This is a dormer roof. That was a great start, learners. To formally begin with our discussion, learners, at the end of our lesson, you are able to identify the types of roof. Second, appreciate the value of appropriate roofs in creating house. And lastly, draw the different types of roof. We all know that skull is the bone that protects the brain. We also have skin that protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays. And for us to protect from rains and sun rays, we have the roof of the house. The roof is the external upper covering of a house or building, including the roof framing and the roofing material. The design of the floor plan affects the appearance of the roof and in turn, it also affects the exterior appearance of the residential building. Let's have the basic types of roof. When you choose a roofing style, you may first think the visual impact. If you've ever wondered what are the types of roof that is a good style to your home, then do not miss this discussion. 
Let's have the first type, gable roof. This roofing has a pitch on two sides but no pitch on the gable ends. The term gable refers to the triangle spot that is formed when the two pitch areas of the roof meet. This roof is very popular type because it is easy to build, it sheds water well, facilitates ventilation, and can be applied to most house designs. Next, we have hip roof. This roofing is used when eave line protection is desired around the entire perimeter of the building. It is slightly more difficult to build and usually have a four sides. It's a popular choice but does not provide for ventilation. They do perform better in high wind areas. The third type is mansard roof. This roofing is a four-sided gambrel style hip roof characterized by two slopes on each of its sides with the lower slope. It is a French design and it is more difficult to build than the hip or gable roof. It allows more room on the inside and in most cases creates an extra space. Next type, we have gambrel roof. It is a symmetrical two-sided roof in which each side has two slopes, one steeper and one shallower. It is also called as the barn roof because it has been used extensively on barns. It also provides additional headroom on the attic. Next, we have shed roof. These roofing are higher at one end than the other. This is similar to a flat roof but has more pitch. It is frequently used for additions or with other roofing style. Next, we have dormer roof. It is a roof structure often containing a window that projects vertically beyond the plane of a pitch roof. It is a window and a roof protruding from the existing slope of the roof. This creates usable space out of the roof that adds natural light and headroom. We also have hip and valley roof. It is a combination of hip and gable. It is simply a modified or extended hip roof. The shape and pitch of the surfaces are basically the same. However, the base shape changes from a simple rectangle to a letter T or letter L shape on plan. Lastly, we have salt box roof. This roofing has two asymmetrical sides that are easily identified by their signature one-sided slope roof lines. Isn't it great? We're already done discussing our lesson about the types of roof. Of course, the best way to check your understanding about our lesson is through the activities. This point, let's answer this question. Learners, why do we need to apply the appropriate roof in creating house? We all know that roof is one of the most important structural of house. That's why applying appropriate roof in a simple house, poultry, or building is necessary in order to achieve your ideal design. Now, let us start the activities on your self-learning module. The title of the activity is Draw Me. Here is the direction. Draw on the given boxes the types of roof being asked. Draw it on a short band paper. Remind your learners you can pause the video while doing the activity. We have six boxes here. You just need to draw the roof of a gable, salt box, shed, game rail, heap, and mansard of a house, building, or poultry. Your score will be guided by our rubrics. I guess you're already done doing this activity. Let us have another activity. We call this as picture identification. Here is the direction. Identify the pictures carefully and write the correct types of roof. Reminder learners, you can pause the video while answering. And when you're done, you can play the video again to check what is the correct answer. Are you ready learners? Okay, let's begin. What do you call to this type of roof? The correct answer is hip roof. Very good. The second roof. Great! This is a salt box roof. The third one. 
awesome. We have shed roof. Next, what do you call to this type of roof? Very good. This is a game braille roof. Next one. Great. We have dormer roof. Now, count the correct answers that you got. Learners, don't worry if you got 2 over 5 in our evaluation. You did your best. You can repeat this evaluation until you understand it. But then again, give yourself a clap. And for those who got perfect score, give yourself 5 claps. And for your assignment, list down the other types of roof and draw it on a short band paper. Your score will be guided by our rubrics that we use on your performance task. That ends our discussion. I hope you learned a lot from our lesson. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me or send me a message through our messaging apps. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you on our next video lesson. God bless you all.